So a question I get from patients all the time is, can I get iron overload from iron supplementation for restless leg syndrome? Well, the answer to this is most likely no. I'm Dr. Andy Burkowski of Relax Health, and the topic this week is iron overload. So what is iron overload? Well, it really is kind of a vague term, but it basically means that if the body gets too much iron, it can start to have effects on things like the heart and the liver where iron can accumulate and cause, say, the liver not to work as well. This really is not a complication that one should be worried about with iron supplementation for restless leg syndrome. There are two ways of getting iron into the body. One is through an oral supplement where you take a pill of iron, and then the other method, which is a lot more uh, stronger and effective, which is IV iron, where the iron is put in through an IV. Now for oral supplementation, it's, it's virtually impossible to get too much iron. And the reason is the body has a feedback loop where if you absorb a certain amount of iron, the body will completely limit how high your iron levels get and then stop taking in iron either from food or the supplement. That's why oral supplementation doesn't work in people with normal iron levels. It only works in people with low iron levels. But keep in mind for restless leg syndrome, we want the iron levels sometimes to be above normal. So that's why an oral supplement sometimes cannot get an individual high enough because the body prevents iron from getting into the body from food or from a supplement. So there really is no concern with getting iron overload from an iron supplement. It's just gonna maybe cause gastrointestinal side effects like constipation or upset stomach. And that would be one reason not to take oral supplements if your iron levels are too high. The bigger concern is with IV iron where there are no limits. We could put an IV in your arm and pump as much iron as we can into your body and there is no feedback loop. The feedback loop is the physician not ordering more iron for you. But in restless leg syndrome, again, it's caused by low iron levels in the brain. So when we're measuring iron levels, we're measuring it in the blood. And it seems in most individuals that at least normal to high normal iron levels in the blood might result in more control of restless leg symptoms by getting more iron up into the brain. So getting an IV infusion of iron, you get a thousand milligrams of iron, your, your levels go up and they may go up even to a high, you know, above a normal level of iron. That's sort of what we want. We wanna get as much iron as we can into the brain. And iron is a building block. It's a building block for red blood cells among other things. So over time, even after an infusion, if your iron levels are high, your body will use up the iron. It's like you're a contractor, you're building houses and you get too many bricks. Well, if you've got extra bricks, you're just gonna take the bricks and help build the next house. So over time, even if the iron levels are high, they're going to drop back down to normal. Uh, sometimes the ferritin may lag behind the transferrin saturation, but eventually over months, per potentially a year or more, it'll go back to normal. And a lot of individuals need another iron infusion at that point. So it really isn't a concern that you're gonna to get too much. There is a rare condition that's mostly genetic called hemochromatosis, where that feedback loop is, is basically broken and people can accumulate more and more iron. Usually that's not gonna be the case, but we'll know if that's the case because we're checking iron levels. So how do you not have iron overload is we're not doing this blindly. Doctors should be checking iron in people with restless leg syndrome at least once a year for everyone with significant restless leg syndrome. But those who are getting iron supplements or getting iron infusions should really have their iron levels checked every three to four months. So you'll know you're not just giving infusion after infusion, we're, you're measuring the iron levels. You're not just taking a supplement uh, forever. You're checking your iron levels and determining whether you need a supplement and how much you need. So we're not doing this out of a mystery as to how much iron we have. We, we have a test that'll show us exactly how much iron an individual has and therefore concerns of iron overload, at least when it comes to restless leg syndrome, should not be a concern. As always, these 
are general medical information statements. They're not intended to be medical advice. All decisions regarding iron and iron infusion and iron overload should be done under the care of a licensed medical clinician. And as always, one of the keys to sleeping well is to relax.